Okay, testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. And uh, the time is 12.09. It's Friday, May 9th, 2014. And let me get this going. We'll try this. We Everybody knows what this is. It helps me hear you when you talk to me. So let's get this thing scanning. Okay, well, this is Leo. I want to thank all of my guides and helpers and friends and all of my wonderful technical people for helping me with these uh, attempts to contact uh, my friend Sandy. I am what I am wondering if uh, Sandy is available to talk with me today. So again, this is Leo, and uh, I want to say hi. It's been a long time since since we spoke the last time using this method. I do know that I don't have to use this method any longer. I, I know that I am able to uh, talk with Sandy and all of my friends and helpers uh, through my mind. But it's also important that other people can hear my conversations with my friends uh, in the afterlife. Sandy, I want to tell you again how much you mean to me. And I know we will be together in the afterlife. But I also know, Sandy, that I do believe that we, by the fact that you so much felt that we should communicate, that I truly feel that we are soulmates. So with that in mind, Sandy, are you here with me? How many of my angel friends, my people that I've talked to, 
How many are able to be with me here today? Well, I hope that uh, you're all here with me today. I want to thank all the help that my son Sean has and all the love that has been given to him and all the love that you have towards my grandson Christopher and my soon-to-be granddaughter Sophie Jo. Please, uh, I ask of you, help them in their marriage and help Sophie come into this world without any complications. But I want to thank you for all the love you've given me. Sandy, I want to thank you for contacting me. I think it's the most beautiful thing that anyone could have ever done. And I'm looking forward to the next big adventure. So, I hope that I've been able to make contact today. And how is Tom this fine morning? Now, uh, there's something that, that we do when we're living that is really, really a nice thing, and that is sleep. Does a soul ever sleep? Do you ever lay down for a nap? I know you remember it from uh, when you were with your bodies. Did the soul enjoy that respite, that time of relaxation and sleep, that time of renewal? Or was it just a waste of time? We saw a movie the other night about this little boy who had a near-death experience, but it was much more than that. He actually went to heaven and saw Jesus. I think that was a remarkable story. So I know, Sandy, you're in the light. And I understand that uh, it takes a while to get from there down to here. So, Sandy, have you been able to communicate with your mom? And uh, Sandy, are you with your your? Uh, is your dog with you? Is your puppy with you? Because I know that uh, Michelle said that she saw you with a dog, like a yellow Labrador. 
I'll bet there are a lot of doggies and cats in heaven. Is that right? Well, I don't want to take too much of your time today. But I know it's been a long time since I've done this. And I just love to hear the sound of your voice. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this today. To see if I could get more of the sound of your voice. I sure love looking at all the flowers that Marilyn planted. They are just so beautiful. So I hope we made contact today. And I am going to put it on my computer and go through it and see. So I love you, Sandy. All of you, my friends, my guides and helpers. All the technical support. And I thank you all for keeping us safe. So until the next time, I love you all. And I know that I will meet you all someday. And Sandy, to you, I will continue to enjoy our conversations until the time comes where we are together. So, goodbye, and God bless all of you, and we will talk again soon. So, bye-bye, everyone. And goodbye, my love, Sandy.